All right, hey, what's up, y'all? This is Paul C. Tierina, nutritional therapist, lifestyle and performance coach with the SHT in Las Vegas. And uh, sometimes I say that because I hope this video is reaching more people than just the people that know me. Um, but anyway, uh, so recently, you know, we're, we're putting together this uh, this three-part series, SHT Vitality, and we had this talk that we put together called Nutritional Vitality. And in Nutritional Vitality, basically, this is a way for us to assess foods. And I think it's really awesome. We've been doing the right thing for 10 years now, um, eating real food, maximizing nutrients, minimizing toxins, enhancing uh, uh, metabolic flexibility, but we've never really put it into to, uh, this kind of a, a concept that was all put together in a way for people to really assess what they're eating. And so today we talked about metabolic efficiency, and, um, and I'm just going to give you a little recap of some of the things we covered in our course curriculum. So um, metabolic efficiency to us means the ability for the body to use fat and glucose for fuel easily. And, and ideally that means the body's having a preference towards using fat for fuel over using glucose for fuel because the body always knows how to use glucose for fuel. It's always running through the bloodstream. Even if I'm fasting for like a week, I still have glucose being produced. So my body doesn't need help understanding how to use glucose. It needs help understanding how to use fat for fuel. And once that happens, then we start to have some metabolic flexibility. All right. And then I thought it was really useful for us to understand where does, where does energy come from? The body can get energy from two main sources fat and carbohydrates. And to us, carbohydrates means dominant sources of starch and sugar. So we can get energy from fat, whether it's dietary fat through the foods that we're eating or excess body fat. And we can also get energy from carbohydrates, which would basically be like our starches and our sugars and things. Um, and sometimes some blood glucose or stored liver glycogen or, or muscle glycogen. So um, something really important for us to understand is that carbohydrates are the opposite of fat for fuel. So if I'm trying to get my body to understand how to use fat for fuel, every time I eat carbohydrates, Hydrates, it is the opposite of fat for fuel. My body is going to prefer using the carbohydrates versus the fat. All right, so I just want to uh, be aware of that and be cautious and strategic with my carbohydrate consumption. We are not low carbers. We are strategic carbers. We just have some basic rules around it. Um, another important concept to understand is that um, stored body fat is here for energy for when we're not eating. That's what it is. Body fat is stored energy for when we're not eating. Um, it's an evolutionary adaptation to starvation. We're meant to tap into our fat stores for fuel easily and effortlessly throughout the day and if we go through periods of fasting. And so if body fat is stored energy for when we're not eating, that automatically tells us that we have to go through periods of not eating, which means that grazing and snacking all day long is probably not that beneficial. A lot of people still think that, you know, if you eat every two or three hours, you're burning more calories, you're keeping your metabolism stoked or something crazy like that. And what we understand now is that space is extremely beneficial. So to summarize, you know, what we talked about in this uh, little online curriculum thing, basically, Understanding metabolic efficiency is understanding that the that we want to be strategic with carbohydrates. We want to be cautious about it. We want to have some rules around it. We don't want to be consuming carbohydrates all day. We definitely want to make sure that carbohydrates are coming from real food sources in moderated amounts. And then we also want to always embrace space. We want to embrace periods of no eating because that's when the magic of fat burning happens. Um, and then, of course, you know, as you get more comfortable eating real food and you get more comfortable nurturing space, you can start to experiment with some fasting protocols. But we don't think you have to do anything extreme. Just basically not snacking all the time is going to be extremely beneficial. Big picture, what we're trying to do here and what we teach is we're trying to eat real food. We're trying to be strategic with our carbohydrates and we're trying to nurture space or allow space in periods of not eating. And that's it. All right. So um, if you haven't checked us out, Join our community over at community.superhumantransformation.com. We'd love to see you there. All right. Thank you guys for listening.